Welcome in SA Lawn Video. Laka. Laka Owens and welcome to another video where we will be doing some uh, general maintenance on my bent grass putting green which is looking fair besides that part there that I smothered with clippings which is now slowly but surely recovering but we'll look at that. Today I'm going to pull out my scarifier and we are going to thin out this putting green. Before I talk too much let's get straight into that. Laka come on. Okay, maybe I'll just quickly mow it before, before we get started. My professional mower is in for a bit of a throttle upgrade or something of the sorts. So I'll be mowing with the Toro Greensmaster 1000 today. Right, so I'm just going to check whether this cuts paper or whether it cuts at all. Um, and that should be good enough for uh, cutting our green as well. Okay, so this side looks good. This side looks very good. This side cutting but it's like kind of no it's not cutting properly I'm gonna adjust it down just a little bit I'm gonna show you how you do that so this is where you adjust the reel to bed knife setting um, I think it uses a 16 mil socket um, but it's quite cool very kind of easy way to do it I think it's because they do it quite a lot on the golf courses and this being aimed to be set quite regularly I'm just gonna try another click He's making a bit of a squeaking noise uh, because it's been so wet that the, the tip of the blade is actually picking up some rust. Um, yeah, now it's cutting better, cutting much better. Yeah, this side's perfect. With this mower, you have to set both sides because obviously it's got two adjustments, height adjusters, one year, one year. So I measure the left hand and then the right hand or vice versa. Guys, oh, that's set to five mil. Let's go for a mo. Pretty good from far ends. I am double cutting in the same direction then it makes these beautiful lines uh, which I normally try and remove the next time I mow then I mow upstream. So looking good, very good Owens even with some issues um, we've really got a nice looking green here really only this part here at the back um, that is still recovering however what I've done here maybe three weeks or so back is you can clearly see the bend creeping into the bluegrass area here. There's only some areas you can really see the difference here, uh, but you can't really see the difference between the green and the, the fringe here so much. Here's a little bit of bluegrass left. I took out some, I don't want to call it plugs, but I took out some strips here and I plugged them into the bad area right there. Um, so like right there, I've plugged it in. It's actually starting to spread nicely. Still need to do a few areas, but what I thought I might do is because that area is struggling I might actually make the green a little bit smaller and try and cut the mower basically onto where that last cup is and grow that part a little bit taller um, to make it part of the fringe because that turn at the end is just too sharp and there's not enough space there where the flowers are to make a proper turn with a mower so I have to turn on that area all the time so I want to cut this green a little bit smaller maybe I think that should well it should make a difference um, having taller grass there and it should also take some stress off 
the turn there so they can make a more gradual turn. Right boys and girls, a moment I've been waiting for the white T6702 is making another appearance on the putting green with its scarifying blade. It's been on here since I can't remember when. Um, but I want to try the scarifying blade today to see whether I can get the lines a little bit closer to each other. Might do two directions, one year, one year, not 100% sure. I'll reassess after the first pass and I'll also reassess after making a pass at zero, which should be ground level. I don't know if it's going to take anything off. It should, but it might not. And then I might go to minus five, most probably not minus 10, to see if we can take some of the thickness it's a little bit soft, a little bit slow. That's why I'm doing this. So the whole reason behind it, I'm trying to make it a little bit more playable. Not sure if I'm going to top dress soon, but I want to see what happens when I take some of this thick stuff out. So I want to try and remove some of the thick stuff in this lawn, Owens. Most of the lawn, of the green, sorry, is looking rather pleasing. Besides that part right there, which I probably won't treat, yeah, let's, well, maybe just do a test and see how it goes. But for the most part, I want to treat this. Guys, and I'm also going to hoi with a catch here. Why? Not because I think there's going to be tons of uh, mountain heaps of dead material coming out here. Just to see how much I can get from this green. Not because I think it's going to react like a kukuyu lawn. Uh, but just for interest sake. Whoa, she's alive. Check out, that's what my test spot looks like. That's pretty satisfying to be 100% honest with you. I don't think that's too deep. I think that's more or less what I want to achieve here. From the side, it almost looks like I did nothing. But from the top, the definite. Because I think this, this zero or soil level should be low enough. I don't think I should go any deeper than I already did. <laughs> Owens, first pass done and dusted and it's looking epic, I think, especially in the thinner areas. And just have a look at this bare area, guys. I went over this and it's making tiny grooves in there. As you can see, another thing that I want to talk about is I've been seeing a bit of a discoloration here in the soil where it is bare. And that is an indication to me that some sort of a fungus, maybe even potentially moss, uh, could grow in that area um, in the future. Hopefully this verticutting application will remedy that by um, slicing some grooves into that area, allowing some airflow, um, allowing water to drain better, and hopefully we get some sunshine, like it's looking, it's wanting to peek through or whatever, um, to remedy this. Moss thrives on putting greens where there is continuous moisture and some heat. In the thicker areas, Owens, so I might have to go a little bit lower because it is running on a bit more of a sponge there. It's not digging all the way through the grass and you're not seeing as good of a result or as dramatic of a, of a result. Man, I'm struggling for words here. I'm talk, trying to talk too big English here for my Afrikaans. Guys, I'm going to go to minus five, but only on the thicker areas. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so that might have been a little bit aggressive, but you can really see that little machine starting to, starting to dig in 
its teeth here into my putting green guys almost exposing bare dirt there at the bottom but that's the luxury of having your own putting green you can do what you want and your recovery time is irrelevant because it's mine so while we wait for this thing to warm up let's see how much stuff we came up with oh wow okay yeah that is uh that is a lot of uh, bent grass Owens let's have a look there almost a catcher full and you can really see this end stuff is, has got some sand in it um, so it has pull, pulled out a lot of green not a lot of thatch in this green so that's why you don't see too much brown um, but yeah that's a lot of grass <laughs> Right Owens, and there it is. I would call that a success. And to be 100% honest with you, if I had a golf course, if I was the greenkeeper at a golf course, I would never in my life go as aggressive as this. Um, I would try and do it more frequent, but not as deep. This would simply just take too long to recover. Now to get back to my oopsie daisy there. So firstly, I smothered that with clippings, then some of the grass died off. I've picked up more issues there for it to recover, taking way longer because I've got plenty of trees there. However, I've remedied that. A while back, I could stand and chip from the back there and I could hardly see a wall. I could hardly see the neighbor's house. Um, now I've cut down this career right there, still a bit of a mess here, please excuse that. I've cut down an entire thorn bush. I've cut down plenty of stuff here. That's why it's looking so straggly and whatever. Hopefully this tree fills up a little bit more to allow for more sunshine to peek through and hit this area it's not simply not getting enough sunshine and staying wet for prolonged periods of time too long of a time um, so that's the short of it hopefully by getting more sunshine on it i would conquer that issue and hopefully i've done enough if i haven't i'll probably take even further action Guys, I'm going to use the mower to run over this green one more time at the exact same height. Um, nothing different, just to get it flat and rolled again. I think um, it's standing up a little bit now. Obviously, that scarifying blade pulling up a lot of the grass. I'm just going to, just basically to knock the top off and get it flat. guys i still think it's too wet to be 100 percent honest with you look how squishy the sand and the grass is getting but looking much better owens um so that's going to wrap it up for this video thank you so much for watching i really appreciate each and every one of you thank you so much to all the support on my online shop southafricanlawn.ca.za thank you for the owens purchasing caps and phallus and all the lacquer things and i'll see you in the next video cheers for now bye bye